Hey everybody, Adam Savage and Norm Chan in my cave with uh, the first unboxing of 2024. In, and in the first in the new space. I, this is, <laughs> yes, it's so, we are like, um, we're sort of overwhelmed here with an embarrassment of riches of angles to shoot from instead of just cramming ourselves behind my workbench in the other room there. This is just freaking delightful. Adam, I got you hooked last year on one sixth vehicles. Yeah. I, and it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an expensive hobby, both financially and spatially. Spatially, I know. It's only the Z axis, they all go up yeah. on shelves. But this comes courtesy of Jazz Inc. Dioramas. They made that incredible 1 6 scale Batwing from Batman 1989. The one that you year. have on yeah. your wall. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> but this is from a different Batman. This is. So let's open it up. Let's yeah, take yeah. a look. Oh my God. <laughs> I, the other reason that six scale vehicles are expensive is that the, um, the good six scale figures for these vehicles are never cheap. Well, you allow at that scale an amount of detail that to today's manufacturing, that's the thing I love most about it. Like you can get so much oh. mixed media, <laughs> so much detail at six scale. Uh, and this is, of course, from Matt Reeves, The Batman. Dude. Oh. Wouldn't you love to be given this artwork and be allowed to make the box you wanted to make? Look at this beautiful, like, gloss matte treatment on this. The masking, it's just beautiful. Uh, this is, so, Jazz Inc. Dioramas, right? They've done six-scale dioramas for a long right. time. This is an official licensed thing. Now they've partnered with DC, so they're developing this while the film was being made. Oh, wow. So unlike a lot of their projects where they're, you know, like the 89 stuff or 1966, where they're digging into old photos and right. working with collectors mm -hmm. for reference to refine the details, they had access to- To everything versions. they needed. Exactly. And they released a uh, weathered and unweathered yeah, version, is yes. that right? Yes, and you wanted the- Weathered. Weathered, of okay. Of course, <laughs> yes. Don't get me wrong, I love painting and weathering, but I thought it'd be lovely to have a, um, Yes. To get their full Monty here. All right. Okay, here oh. we go. Oh, there's a lot of suction. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I'm feeling some. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Ta da! Fantastic. Look at that a cardboard box that doesn't cripple us from being able to move around. Dude. And, you know, you know, this comes all the way from the Netherlands where they're based. I'm always impressed by their ability to ship internationally. Yeah, they've done the Zack Snyder yeah. uh, Batmobile 1966, the Batwing, uh, and they're currently working on the 1989, the Tim Burton really? Batmobile, um, which they're really proud of. The designs look so amazing. They did this in, in, they did this six. in six. They did that. Wow. They did that in Justice League one, the Zack Snyder one. The BVS one. That's and, beautiful. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, size for that. I know, I know. Did, did it come with the spot? <laughs> they sell that separately. <laughs> <laughs> I love the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's, uh, yeah. Okay. There it goes. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. I mean, the history of the Batmobile, right? Like every filmmaker, every storyteller, artist that gets their hand on working with Batman, Aside from Batman's costume, this is the thing that they get to put their stamp on. Yeah, and every single one, you can feel the joy in the design, no matter how different, whether it's a Snyder or Burton or Nolan or Reeves. Yep, this is like their the muscle car right, version right, right. Of, of the Batmobile. Yeah, and it's a very, um, it's funny because this feels uh, not out of the range of like John Wick's personal transport. Uh, there's a way in which it feels like a younger Batman. Mm -hmm. You're too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're gonna go around here. I think we have it right side up. We do. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that was lucky. There we go. There we go. Oh my God. There it goes. Yep, we'll slide that out. All right. And then I'm just making sure there's nothing here that I'm missing. Nope, it's all straightforward. You can lift up and I will pull. <laughs> wow. This, wow, holy cow. You never really see much of the interior. No, you really don't. Right? Oh my God, look how big the engine is compared to the size of the vehicle. The engine's like a full third, or like 35, 40%. Yeah. There we 
go. Wow. Oh, that <laughs> engine is gorgeous. Um, look at that, all the readouts. Dude, it feels fantastic. I mean, this is where having direct access to the production as they're making the film yields all the benefits, right? Like, Oh, the doors are welded shut. Oh, no, this one's open. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna come around. No, there are uh, lights okay. with this, so we can plug this into power. Make sure to get some beauty shots to see a remote here. Oh, wow, a remote. It's far and out. And Adam, guess what this is? Oh, this is for putting water in to get <laughs> yes, the smoke out that right. they use in the Buzz Lightyear that's toy. exactly it. <laughs> Clearly some breakthrough has happened yes. in China. <laughs> yeah, the, the, you can aerosolize the, the water. The, uh, the Buzz Lightyear, our Buzz Lightyear animatronic includes a bottle of about the same size for water to make it give smoke. So clearly this will go through and do yes. some smoking. We have to activate that. That's where the Oh, water, right. Water it's a little in. bit of a bung. So this just sits, there we go. Uh, That's what happens. Okay. It just sits on there. All right. So we'll put water. <clears throat> well, well, let's get some water in there. Yeah. You know, this is interesting. My son recently asked me, hey, uh, do you have a torque wrench so I could tighten this thing on my car? And I was like, you know, need a torque wrench. And then actually I explained to him something that had been explained to me years ago, which is uh, the actual length of a handle on a socket set imparts about the right amount of Newton pounds for most things you would tighten with your socket set. So it is a self-limiting size, mm, right? Mm. The leverage you can get is the maximum you need. And I love, this is the same kind of thing, self-regulating size of, you can't put too much water in this thing because you only have this little, there we Reservoir go. Reservoir right there. That was it. And then put the little bung on there. All right. We'll and then put that cap on. This and guy back over. And Excellent. The power supply will then plug in. Where does it plug into? All right. Oh, there's a battery compartment. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay, hang on. So we can do batteries. Ah, yes. So, uh, oh, look at that. They've, been, they've got a battery compartment that includes this little uh, barrel connector tail. There so you can go. put it back down. And this is built for display. They've really thought it through. We were just complaining about some toy companies that make stuff that is hard to display. Well, that's why the remote control is so essential. Also, yeah. this can be behind Plexi, you know, on a shelf. All right, here we go. Plugging it in. Ooh, some lights come on. Something in there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can activate. Button one turns on power. When well, we might need to hit our, our house lights here. And four is turn off the rear brake. Oh, the red. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, flashing lights under the hood, button five. Nice. All oh, right. that's great. Excellent. And then six, sound. <laughs> All right. Dude, it is so pretty. I didn't even realize that he doesn't even have a seat in the passenger yeah, it's, uh, side. Very reminiscent of um, uh, Death Proof. Yeah, he's riding solo. No seat for Vicky Vale in this one. I um, I also really dig the body design. It's got it's it's got that classic American muscle car tail end, but and it's been clearly modified by someone who loves that shape but brought their own thing to it. But it's like a home mod, right? This is not like a super high end. Kind of, it's it's almost like a semi straightforward welding job, right? The planes are really kind of simple, and I think that's well. Great. And all this reinforcement that's exposed tells you it's made to ram other cars. Right, it's right. Like, like this is my favorite part. The this kind of these bars that yeah. go through the hood to the ramming parts in the front. Um, when the film came out, some of the production design team were able to share some of the renders that yeah. they had done. And Ash Thorpe, who's an artist I followed, shared his beautiful renders and really highlighted like this material here. And the whole idea was that this thing exactly. was a, a ram rod exactly. for whatever you wanted to do to exactly. it. Exactly. That roll cage in here, everything's protect the driver, right, the engine, right. and that's the business end. Dude, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the weathered effect. It's quite subtle. 
They've done some really nice multicolor weathering over here off the tires. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fenders. not just brown, yeah. it's white no, and brown. No, it's really nicely yeah. done. And That's... also the, uh, the wheel rims are beautiful. That's the fear you have when you, the weathered version. Is it gonna be like the splatter? Like the way I would do it, <laughs> oh, it's so messy, splattered all over. Yeah, yeah, you wonder how much, it's hard to get the care and the delicacy of a paint job across a production line, but luckily we're seeing more and more companies that get there. God, that engine is something I else. Know. I know, you don't see it because it's mostly shrouded in shadow. Um, but so this is so twin nice. turbos on a V8. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. All right, yeah. I mean, is that is that based on a real engine? I, I, I know. Well, I don't know about this part. This is the the, the, the whole afterburner part. It's absolutely amazing. You have his uh, canisters here, stored in the cockpit. All the dials. Uh, it's really fun also to see this company that makes this vehicle kind of grow over there time. We go. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's nice. I gave it a little bit of a blow, and there it is. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice effect. We are, I'm grinning like a 13 year old. <laughs> but yeah, it's to watch it, a company kind of, it's a mom and pop shop, yeah. right? They, they've just started making dioramas and to build a relationship they have then with DC and to design a vehicle with, you know, 150 parts that they have to make molds for just for the engine. And these aren't molds, these are tools. They yeah, are oh yeah. they're, carving they're this out of tool. steel, injection yep. molding this stuff. It is insanely expensive. The upfront costs are astronomical. I'm so glad they're able to get this across the line. Yeah, no one, no one wants to be in this business because it's only the hardcore fans. I mean, you've got this limited number of people who have the figures. Well, it turns the out that the people who can afford your product are going to be the most critical people in the world oh about God. your product. I'm, I'm on the forums. They are. <laughs> um, I love some of this uh, twin metal treatment we've got going oh, just, on here. Just a little bit of that. Yeah, just a little bit to kind of make it feel like it's been home built. I may, I may do a little bit of uh, wash on the engine here. Maybe add some, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I may be going online to find some reference <laughs> material for the real prop and maybe add a few little here's and there's. It animating is animating lights under the hood. I, I'm now like in the, I'm seeing a future where I can stack this and the DeLorean and the Ecto-1 as like a, a, at least a triplet. If there's another six scale vehicle on the way, but like being able to see them one through three. Yeah, yeah. And then they're working on, like I said, 1989, uh, Bat, Tim Burton Batmobile. Yeah. That's one where they're collaborating with the community. People are pulling their screenshots. People who would never be able to make their own, but have yeah. obsessed over it are pointing out exactly how many exhaust holes here, does the cone droop in the front, you know, everything it. to be as precise, because once they do it, that's it, yeah. right? They're only yeah. gonna do it once. Yeah, so incredible. Oh, amazing. Yeah, they did a beautiful job. This is a gorgeous, they, they sent us this. Yes, this yeah. is, yeah, this is. Comes uh, courtesy of Yoast, who's the founder of Jazz Inc. And yeah, they're just really proud of this. And they should be. This is um, worthy of uh, a lot of pride. It is an absolutely, Oh man, it is nice to get some toys. <laughs> Adam, you gotta get a Batman. You got you gotta I, get a Matt Reeves Batman to put in there. I really yeah. want that that is that is my favorite bat suit. Mm. Is the Reeves bat suit. Without a doubt. Um we got to spend time with Pierre Bohana, one of yes. the engineers that built that suit when we were hanging out with our FBFX friends. Um I've learned a lot about how things were uh, the, flexible yep, for pants. Yep, to make it thing. look like leather, right, with the sewing, yeah. but maybe not actually leather. Yeah, no, yeah. really, really amazing. That is a suit I'm dying to replicate. And so maybe this is also the inspiration. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it goes. First unboxing Amazing, of the year 2024 in the space. starting off with a bang. <sighs> Dude. I can't wait to photograph it. So, what's that? I can't wait to photograph oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful lines. Actually, let's get it back on the table because those lines are really lovely. Uh, we're lifting, moving, and then down. Dude, that is... Um, yeah, that's so, that's, that's so it says Batman. Yeah. And also, I mean, looking at it right now, also the, where you see how much of it is just roll cage and frame, it's very Mad Max. Yeah. And yeah. I hadn't considered that before I, I saw it from this angle. 
very Mad Max. Which is going to be fun to see as the series evolves. Yeah. Does this design get more refined? Oh, yeah, indeed. And Batman. then I'm curious if these guys are going to do any of the Fury Road, if they get the Fury Road franchise. Yeah, that's Warner Brothers <laughs> as well. Amazing.